you can even paste it's really simple you can get a business idea out of this video hope it helps you at the end please watch till that <laughs> subscribing please subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that every time i post a video you're the first person to watch so today as you can read the title we are going to be talking about business do you want to invest in uganda do you want to start a business but you don't have any idea of what business you should venture in do you feel like oh i have my money but what am i going to use this money for how am i going to reinvest this money how am i going to make this money bring me more money so sit get a seat sit and then just watch this video till the end then you're going to know where to put your money and how actually I did business so you are the right place but first subscribe and when you're going to excuse me about the sound like my place is near that big tree that has a lot of birds and then people are still doing their activities so you'll have that sound for the bird which is okay the birds are singing then someone is also building i think construction is going on but even the cock is crawling i don't know what, what do they say okay the cock is doing that sound so all together but you forgive my background sound just concentrate on the business idea i'm going to give you but then let's first hit the like button press the notification bell and then tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that i'm going to give you a business idea okay let's go in so number one how much do you have like to start a business it doesn't matter trust me it doesn't matter how much you have as long as you have some money plan towards that money and use it well so with ten thousand or less you can start a very profitable business in uganda anywhere anywhere in uganda you can start a very profitable business so and then with more capital you can venture into bigger businesses right yeah you can just comment below there if you can if you think you can't then just sit there and then let me tell you how you're going to do that so business number one like business idea number one what do you think you can invest in in uganda uganda being a developing country it's just developing so there's no much to do with the food processing people just get their food how it is and any problems eh? <laughs> yeah okay, go study. so for the for the food processing because of us not having a lot of food processing industry that's also a business because you're going still growing so you can really venture into that part of the business there are a lot of opportunities so the demand for the quality food is increasing with the growing population especially in the urban areas of uganda that is kapala mukono um wakiso and uh Entebbe. so basically that's what you have to base on to have a business idea you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are we together so if you have capital you can start a food processing business that offers value added processed foods eh? like um, you can start fruits vegetables or nuts like nuts or cereals so, or cereals it's been but then you can get them you can get like grains let me say in northern part of uganda and eastern part of uganda they grow a lot of rice but trust me people still in Uganda ex like import rice from Pakistan you understand but then if you can do it here why not like why not if you have your capital you understand you can just start getting the rice from eastern part of Uganda and it's cheaper by the way because uh, last time I bought 10 kilograms of rice at uh, 25,000 imagine imagine hmm? that's very cheap so if you can really 
do your processing you pack them well brand them you're good to go you're going to become a millionaire don't ask me why i'm not a millionaire because i mean the process will be coming one <laughs> yes so that's that's our first first business idea so think about it then the second business idea the second one number two what do you want to invest in real estates can't you get something like if you have money buy than what you have to do buy land build houses they can be like um, rentals or you can build houses so that they can lease them so for the real estate this is another booming sector in Uganda that investors can explore like if you want to just start putting your money and getting back within few years trust me just get land because there is still vast land around Kampala like Mukono in Tere um where exactly actually i'll do a video about that too but there are a lot of places just nearby in Tere, uh, nearby kampala with nice land and you can really invest in that buy land at a cheaper price build sell the houses out like like what are you waiting for like what are you waiting for anyway so that's another business think about it think about it huh? if you have money and you're an investor you want to invest think about it and you can tell me in the comment below to help you out why because i'm a businesswoman anyway another business still it's like it's like that but it's also it comes into touring like of course so this uh, what I had in my mind about this business is like uh, Uganda is one of the most visited vacation destinations in Africa by the way. Hence it plays host to most of visitors annually. So here there are opportunities for Airbnb business like a uh, bed and breakfast business. Just uh, you can by the way I have a good idea about this if you cannot afford a house to make an airbnb you don't have like to get a house and then you blah blah no you can even get your money and rent a whole flat then furnish it as long as you make agreement with the owner the landlord or the landlady and then you put it in writing because those people sometimes can be tricky when you start making money they'll be like oh how come i didn't have this idea maybe i can send off this password then i can do the same business so they are really petty so you have to make sure you have your lawyer and you do everything written and documented so that you have reference in case anything goes bad but it's a great idea but you people what are you paying me for giving you all this knowledge just subscribe to my channel for more business ideas trust me i'm going to give you mm, 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 a lot of knowledge in this head anyway so you can set up that airbnb so it will work actually it can work in any part of uganda because it's a part of uganda a lot of touring destination northern part of uganda yeah and then there is Pakwaj. oh my god if you want to invest in Pakwaj, please contact me i'm going to tell you how you can even build a resort there it's near to the biggest national park in uganda I don't know if it's the biggest or the second, so correct me there. But it's so like 30 minutes from uh, the national park, and um, it's really a virgin place. Like no much investments going on. People have just started, so the earlier the better. You understand? The earlier the better. Yeah. So you can do that. Let's go to our business idea number three, number three, number number four. So you can set up a resort also yeah most resorts are located um near the game parks or dishes in interior but then you can do that because you can't my dear <laughs> people here love life so if you can invest in that you're good to go you're good to go you're good to go another thing that is booming this time Another thing is um, transport system. Like if you can buy cars and make like hire them out to people for moving around to 
actually or we can um, get away even if people want to go like to another district just give them the scars like serious you'll be getting money 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 so that's another one then our number six is solar energy solar energy we really do much in the rural part of Uganda so Ugandans are becoming more aware of the advantages of solar energy so there are bigger opportunities for businesses that offer solar panels installments and those that sell solar power accessories so if you can venture into that kind of business also trust me you'll be like this you'll be our next bill gates you understand no i don't have capital that's why i'm giving you ideas mm -hmm. so another thing the seventh business idea do you want to know it actually for this idea i'll even i'm going to put a photo there and you see for constructions like if you can uh, have money you have to venture into construction trust me due to the rapid increasing number of the new buildings and constructions in uganda there is a demand for construction products products and services so either you have like a um, company that provides um, engineers like these constructors to so people who want to construct or you sell products for construction so it will depend on what how much you can afford and how much capital you have so you can do that so you can start a business that sells cement blocks bricks start a business that pleases construction machines such as the concrete mixture i don't know that thing you can have like those machines because people can come and hire them but yeah. because some people prefer making their own bricks like they get cement and whatever then they do their own bricks from their site where they're going to build a house from I me mean, when i get my that's what i'm going to do i'll be making bricks those big big bricks huh? because now i see people most people construct using them not this clear one but the one that they use cement sand and cement yeah so hope you give me a like for all these business ideas my dear you're not paying me so the only way you can pay me is to is to give me a like huh? is to give me a like so 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 much anyway which other business can you do? Can you do here in Uganda? Hmm? So I'm going to stop here for today. Hmm? But then don't forget to watch my other video about the mistakes people do when starting up businesses. Like, hmm? yeah, I'm going to brain boost. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video give me a thumbs up if you think that i'm on the right track please let's get more people to subscribe on this video by liking it just like it like it like it so that it's distributed to many people and they click and they watch it and then we'll be there you understand we do some nice business anyway thank you very much for watching i really appreciate for whoever watches my video and whoever comments there are some two people that have been commenting on my videos and i feel so so emotional like they are so nice they are so nice they are so nice trust me so subscribe hit the like button and let me see you in our next video peace mm -hmm.